Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be trying out the Sky um, bottles. My neighbor actually introduced us to it and I've already had one and it was the uh, tamarindo flavor and it was amazing so I decided to bring on a video for you guys and try them out. Let me know if you guys have had them because I know we can't find these in um, the United States. I believe they're only in Mexico so if you guys are interested in this video please keep on watching. So when I did try the tamarindo flavor, we were at a party and they didn't have rim paste. So I've actually already had the tamarindo flavor one with rim paste and it's really good. However, Eric hasn't tried it. And if you guys haven't had anything with rim paste, it makes everything a thousand times better. So you guys should try it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, put rim paste on half the cup and we're pretty much just gonna try all the flavors. Of course, it tells you on the drink like what you're drinking. Um, but some of these flavors I've never heard of like this one here Like I do not know what flavor this is or what it's gonna taste like it says Arandando and it says born in San Francisco. I have no clue what the heck this means, but they're all different flavors I saw one that said so like this one's a mango um, and it says um, on the beach So like it's more like it tells you like how to order these drinks I guess I saw this one that this one's called a paloma which I've had a paloma before so I'm curious to see how this one's gonna taste pre-made because you said you like palomas now so I was like let's see how it goes and they're just twist offs so maybe that's just what they're called I don't know um but like I said well like how she said you can't find these here anywhere um so you guys might have difficulty finding these but if we have any viewers from Mexico then you guys probably drink these every day all day which um, I would. I mean, the tamarindo one's really good. And how much alcohol are in them? Because honestly, they're like five point seven. I did not taste five, any alcohol. Five percent alcohol, but it's probably like hard mics or mics. Like seltzer, like oh yeah, like mics. Like seltzer, so mm -hmm. like it's like an acquired taste, I guess you can say. Um, so which one do you want to try? Um, I think since we already had the tamarindo one, do you want to try that one to just kind of? Yeah, let's try that one. But then that's probably the best one. But what if it's not? All right, let's try the tamarindo. So I'm only putting half of it because I want to remember. I want to taste it without it, and I want to taste it with and see how it is. So I didn't, I'm not gonna get too much, but I'm just gonna. I'm tasting it without it, so I can kind of remember and then taste it with the tamarindo. It tastes good. It doesn't it taste, taste like. It tastes just like candy. It doesn't taste like an alcohol beverage. Now some of you guys might like that and might not like it because. It tastes like a grow drink. So it's, it's there's, good. I think it's just like how I remembered it. Like honestly, like um, when he brought one to me, I was like, I'm not gonna drink it. I mean, just looking at it, it looks like it's something super strong. Sky is vodka, so I'm like, mm, I don't think I want to drink it. But the flavor is just yeah, it's guys. Good. It, it tastes a lot better with the rim paste. Rim paste. It like. Kind of. It gives it that little it, extra notch. Yeah, it gives it that need. extra. The flavor is like intensified, if that makes sense. It's good. Yeah. The marino, ten out of ten. Mhm. Mm but I've had it before, so that's why I wanted to taste it first yeah, because I just wanted to go back to the original flavor I've had. And the next one, I'm curious about the paloma. Do you want to try that one? Yeah, let's try that one. Okay. So this one's the paloma, which if you haven't had a paloma before, it's pretty much like squirt and uh, like orange juice and lemon. So they're all white. Oh no, this one kind of has like a pink texture. Yeah, it has like a pink color to it. This one looks a little pink. Uh, this one smells like squirt, so. This one's good. It's different. This one's not as sweet. Uh, the tamarindo one is literally like if you're eating yeah. a paleta de tamarindo, 100%. This one's more... You can taste the alcohol more in this one. It tastes like Sprite. Yeah, like Sprite with more alcohol. What would you rate once that one? Once again though, once you taste it with a tamarindo, it's a big difference. Yeah. That one's probably a... 10 out of 10. I think I would give that one a 9. But you know, I'm the hard judge here, so... That somebody, Somebody's gotta be... <laughs> no, I think for sure that the tamarindo one, I, it has to stay at a 10 just because... Yeah. You do not taste any alcohol. A tamarindo, 100%. This one actually does taste like a paloma. Mm -hmm. 
Like a Paloma usually has tahin, and you can't taste the tahin in the bottle, but of course, because we're tasting it with the rim paste, you get it all at once. Yeah. So, 9 out of 10. They're both pretty no, good, don't get me wrong. Did I say 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10? 10 out of 10, yeah. I'll keep it at 10 out of 10. This one is... Let's try the mango. The mango durazno, and this is on the beach. So, hey, if anything's going to remind me of being on the beach, I'm down for it. I ran out of rim paste. We had to get more rim paste for Eric, but this is going to be the on the beach mango flavor. Mango durazno, that's what it's called. I don't know what you, I don't know where you're getting that. On oh the beach. yeah, well it says right here. It says on the beach, and then it says mango durazno. They all say on the beach, right? No, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, that one says blue. Oh. Ah. So this one has a pink, uh, peachy color. No, it's like a peach color, and it smells like peaches. This one tastes a lot like mango. So it's in paint mango or peach? Well, it's both. So durazno is peach and mango is mango. So I was I was getting confused because I thought it was saying it like mango and then in Spanish, but it's two flavors. All right, guys. I guess I'm already drunk. I've only had like three sips, but this one tastes good. Now I'll remind you guys, these don't taste like alcoholic beverages at all. So if that's not your thing, then you guys might not like these. They're very fruity. Probably for men that like beer, probably would not like these. But who likes the taste of beer? Like, the only time I drink a beer is when it's hot as hell outside and I have nothing else to drink. This is very good. And I, or unless I'm too drunk that I can't taste the flavor. This one's really good. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I, I would say this is a 10 out of 10. This one is probably a 10 out of 10 for me too, but mm -hmm. I think I've said that they're all 10s. I am, I am hoping that they all stay in a, that this, they're all good. This one tastes like the Fat Tuesday drinks that we get. The, the Peach Bilani, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. It tastes like that. It's good. It is oh. really good. This one, I do not know what this name let's is. Let's try the mystery one. You want to try, this one's a mystery one. Yeah, let's try that one. This one, it says... Arandando. I'm gonna put it here so you guys can see what it is. Honestly, I don't know. It says Cosmo. I don't know. It says Sabor Arandando. I don't have no clue what that means. Maybe this one was. Oh, can you see that? It's cold. That one also looks more pink. Well, it looks slightly more pink than the other one. That's the pink. thing on there is pink, so maybe that's why. Did you hear that? I did hear that. We have maybe, rats. Maybe a cat. Rats, maybe. I don't know. Like something moving, something, huh? Yeah, and the, there's there's like a dog or something in our backyard. Or, or maybe somebody's trying to so, sneak in. So, quick disclaimer. If you like cats, maybe exit out of this video. We've been having a situation with cats in the house. They're in the backyard. They're in the front yard. They've been treating my house like it's a... What do you call it? Um, a litter box. Yeah, and yeah. it is very disgusting. Um, if you guys know, we had puppies before where we had dogs and we had to get rid of them. We didn't have time for them. So unfortunately, we got rid of them, I think, going on to two, three years now. And ever since then, we've been having random cats in our backyard, uh, random cats just pooping in the front yard and peeing everywhere. And it smells like crap. It's, it's just crap. not nice. Not nice at all. And we do have a neighbor. She loves to feed stray cats. I have nothing against it, but... It's just annoying when you have to it's take out mess. Um, the mess that they leave. And, and it's not a pleasant thing to come home to, especially when you don't have pets of your own. Now it's like I have to be cleaned yeah. up after them. And they're not even just doing it on the dirt or the rocks. They're actually pooping on cars now. I have footage <laughs> that I'm going to show to her so she can I'll upload it. I'll go ahead and it. just put a quick video for you guys. Like I said, you guys do not want to see this. Just skip forward. There's like literally like a, a turd on top of my car. So the, for my freaking cat. So what's been happening? I guess the cats are going onto the car and I think they're sleeping on there, and then they just like, oh, let me wake up and have a doo doo there. Yeah, I have no clue what's going From on. From what I understand, though, cats are pretty clean, so they normally go in the dirt and hide their dirt. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's just why here? Like why? We tried cats? getting rid of them, but the city won't do anything because technically they're allowed to roam free. They're just getting out of control. So. <laughs> they're just. It's just. Disgusting. So we heard something in the backyard. It's probably a cat yeah, back there cat. doing something. But shenanigans. Back to our drinks. Um, I haven't. What had is this one? one? The aran aran. Aran arandando. 
Let me know if I'm saying it wrong. I have no clue. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't know. It doesn't taste bad. That's the thing, it doesn't taste like anything. But it's just not. Let's Google it. Like there's not a flavor that I can think yeah. of. That yeah, has. like there's nothing I can compare it to. Yeah, let's look up what that what that is. Blueberry? Blueberries? No. It says it's blueberry. Or at least the picture looks like a blueberry. It yeah, it's in Volvo. Oh, okay. To English. Yeah, it's like a. Does it all? It's a blueberry. Yeah, it's what a blueberry. Fuck? I am shook the house. She loves. I, no. She loves blueberries. It does not taste like a blueberry. It does not taste like a blueberry at all. Yeah, I don't like blueberries personally. It does not taste like blueberry. Mm -mm. So this is how they're saying it. Arandano. Arandano. Mm, it does not taste like a blueberry. Maybe at a all. pink blueberry, if that's a thing. It does not taste like a blueberry. Just because of that, just because it's tricking us and our taste buds. I'm so confused. I think I'm gonna give that one an eight. I'm just so, it, it, no, it's cause the thing is, it doesn't taste bad, it's just. Yeah, it doesn't taste bad, but I don't. It does not taste blueberry. Yeah. Maybe if I don't Well, blue, actually, if you burp. You're disgusting. It I tastes like blueberry. Yeah, I can smell it now. I guess that's what the, the how you get the taste of it, if you burp. It tastes 20 times better with a rim paste, but yeah. I genuinely don't think that's blueberry. That's what the Google says. I'm just shook. Yeah, we're shooken. I, um, I, I would give that one eight still. It's not bad. It, I would still drink it, but... Maybe that's like the proper way. How do you say blueberries in Spanish? Is that what it is? Okay, Google. How do you say blueberry in Spanish? In Spanish, you would say arandano. What? Arandano. What? I am confused. I've never had to say blueberry in Spanish. Aranda... Arandando. Arandano. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. That's, you gotta roll your N, I think. I am confused, but we're gonna try the next one. Do you feel it already? Nah. Like the drinks? Nah. No? I don't really feel it. Like, lately, well, really. I think we've been going... We've been can working you guys out. tell? We've been working out, as you guys can tell, by cardio. <laughs> We've been working out, and I mean, I guess because we're healthier. I mean, we've been eating kind of the same, kind of trying to live. No, ourselves. we've been eating a lot healthier. I think. I mean, we have. Been. I've cut the soda for sure. Well, I still have a sip here and there, but it's nothing like before. And I feel like we drink a lot more water now. We. We've been trying to only buy water. I yeah. haven't been buying soda. If we she, have soda, then we'll. She's the it. one. Yeah, but then she's again, the one. But it's not. There's hot Cheetos right there off camera. Here. And guess who's snacking on them? I told him, I was like, I'll go and work out any day. I'm just not going to say that I'm on a diet because I feel once you tell yourself you're on a diet, you mentally get hungry, I think, to want everything that's bad. So versus now I can have what I want, but I'm choosing to be healthier. We're trying the manzana verde and it's called an apple teeny. Um, and as you guys can tell, it is a green. Green. If this one would have been blue, I would have known it was blueberry. Yeah. But, but it just, it was pink. I'm, no that's what I'm saying. I think it's a pink. A pink oh, this one smells just like a green apple. No. Alright. So I already tasted it, and I already know what it tastes like. A freaking apple. No. What does it taste like? There you go. Wait up. I know this, I know this, I know this. Five. Four. Uh. Three. Two. Okay, okay, I, okay, I got it, I got it. A green apple jelly rancher. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! That's exactly what it yes! tastes like. Like, no alcohol flavor at all. Just green apple. How did you know? I, you communicated with me <laughs> telepathically, and I just, I just know. It's 100%. <laughs> jelly rancher flavor. Like, yeah, jelly apple. rancher, green apple jelly rancher. Exactly, that's how it is. Like to the dot, but there's no alcohol. But alcohol how did I know there. that? I mean, Isn't I'm sure you've had it before. No, but like, <laughs> I could have said green apple lollipop, green apple fruit roll up. 
But I specifically said green apple jelly rancher. Guys, the Rempeys makes a difference. Like, they all taste so good, Look, but... Let me tell you guys this. Once you go to Rim Dip, there's You'll no going back. back. No. So, if you guys aren't ready for that commitment, don't do it because after you guys, you, after you taste it with Rim Dip, you're not going to be able to drink beer. You're not going to be able to have an alcoholic beverage the same. It's not even just alcoholic beverages, it's anyway. like fruit. I don't really necessarily eat, use it for fruit. Like, I, that's not me. I'd rather have like straight up tapatillo. But for this, I personally don't like the flavor of, of beers. I'd rather take shots. So if it takes the edge off the beer, then I'm all in for it. Like, I'll drink beer once I've had a few in me. You're good. But. Like I said, it's good. And if you guys are interested on how to make it, I do have multiple videos on my recipes. My latest recipe will be linked above here. And not to toot my own horn, but I genuinely feel like it's really good. Which one is this one? Citrus. And it says blue. Yes. <laughs> gym life. I guess the gym. Gym. <laughs> Nah, I loosened it up for him. I knew that's why I was like, use this. So, oh, so I don't look like a wimp on, cam wimp on camera? <laughs> a what? A wimp. Okay, so this one's called blue. Wait, no, did, did we wait citrus. the last one? Flavored citrus is not called blue. Okay, it's, it's called, called blue, but the flavor is citrus. But I don't think we rated the last one, babe. No, we didn't. Um, okay, yeah, we didn't. The we got... Jelly Rancher flavor one, it's like, um, it's good. I would say that one's a nine. But I wouldn't, like... Like, I would prefer these here. Like, if I'm going It's somewhere. a little sweet. It's very sweet. It's a very green apple. But I would do a 9. I would do an 8. I like the flavor. I would do an 8 out of 10. These are all 10 out of 10s. This one, I think I was really confused. I don't know if I rated this one. Did you rate this one? I rated that, I rated that one a 7 or... Yeah, 7 for confusing me. I no, think, a 7 or an 8? I think I'll give it like a 7. No, maybe like... It's my okay. least favorite. Alright, yeah. I'll do this one an 8. So this one's like a seven for me. It's like my least favorite. But you said but it like doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste bad, but it just eight. compared to these, like no eight, comparison. Eight for me, nine for me for the the Jelly Rancher, and no, we're about to try the last one. This one, let me tell you what this one smells like. Sprite. No, it smells like Squirt. This one tastes like alcohol. You know what this tastes like? Like alcohol. This tastes like a paloma that you make. No. No? No. This one's a paloma. No, but this tastes like it. Focus on the drinks. Or not a paloma, but the one that you make with tecate, not tecate, but patron and squirt. That's what it tastes like. A paloma. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we got we're feeling it. It's not bad. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, because you've got used to all the sweetness. I feel like if you're a guy and you want that strong taste, then you're gonna like this because it, it's definitely stronger than all of them. It's not as sweet compared to every other one. Um, Personally, I think I would give this one a nine and a half. A nine and a half because it's not as sweet. I can see myself getting messed up on this. Whereas if I were to drink any of these, then I would be like, uh, I'm gonna throw up because it's too sweet. I would probably, this is probably like, I think- This the order of mine to go. I would drink these if I'm having like a snack or food. These, this is like, oh yeah, let's, let's, let's drink a few beers, bud. Let me get my citrus. This is how I would put my order. This one's a 10 out of 10 plus one. This one's a 10 out of 10 plus half. This well, one's a 10 out of names. 10. This one here is, I think I said this one was like an eight or seven. I think this one's an eight, this one's seven. This is my least favorite. Probably like a six. What? Least favorite, very alcoholic taste. We're not compatible. I feel like this one, these here were like my top. All right, let's do it for me. Tamarindo, first for me. Followed by this one. I actually do like this one. Followed by the toronja wasn't bad. I would say that one was probably third. Mango or manzana verde. That's a difficult one because this one's too sweet. Let's do this. 
I kind of like the mango better. Peach. Toronja. Apple, because it's too sweet. And then the last one, which is the blueberry. That's not blueberry. That tricked me. I think if we would have known it was blueberry, it would have been higher rated. But because I had no clue what it was saying. That doesn't and matter. It but it did not there was taste no like flavor. blueberry. It did not taste like blueberry. Yeah, there was no flavor. I genuinely love blueberry anything. Yeah. And she would have, like, she would have. If I would have known, it. I would have probably tasted that first. Yeah, she would have tasted that first. So. It but just throws you off, like order. that, like the, the, the... Arandando, then it's pink. Like, yeah, why it's not pink. you? Like, yeah, like, what, what, are you, what are you trying to do? Mm -mm, like, what? what? Not, mm -mm. So, Very disappointing, but if you guys have tried them, let me know which ones are your favorite. Also, yeah. like I said, they are more feminine drinks, I believe, because yeah. um, very fruity. This one was probably the least fruitiest of all. It's kind of like a Smirnoff, but a little bit less sweet, I think. Um, I don't know about Smirnoffs, but very, very, very sweet. Same kind of category. Yeah, I mean, if you see anybody drinking like a mic. But like, oh, it's an interesting sweet. flavor, something nice to try. You're not going to find these, like I said. I, I have not seen these anywhere here in I've any store. I've never seen them here in the United States. I asked a few of my coworkers. They also have not seen it. People from Mexico, though, um, like, have said that they have seen them. Like the back of the paper here and the back of the logo is in Spanish, so... It's, um, yeah, it says Producto de Mexico, but everything is Producto de Mexico. It says 5% alcohol, and it does not taste like alcohol. Yeah, it's definitely something that's sold in Mexico, because all the word, all the words on the bottle are in Spanish. But so. the Marindo one is just so good. But it's good. So, if you guys want to see more of drinks that we can't get here in the United States, I can definitely do a video of that. Um, but if you guys did like today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in my next video.